Okay, welcome. Hi, Daniel. folks. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it from here, Juliana. Thank you very much. Hi, folks. Welcome to the 47th presentation hosted by Almond Travel, CARP, and tonight, Crystal River Cruises, held every Tuesday at 6.30 Atlantic time. As in the past, this presentation is being recorded and will be on the CARP Travel website shortly after. A bit about us. Uh, we've been in business for almost 19 years now. Uh, during that time, we've, we've developed a, a number of specialties, one of them being destination weddings. We've done 130 destination weddings from across Canada down in the Caribbean region. And where that uh, particularly comes into play as far as the CARP demographic is concerned is if you have any uh, anniversaries or retirements or special occasions, we have lots of experience in putting groups together uh, and can help you with that. Um, as a result of our, our uh, destination weddings, um, we also specialize in Caribbean area vacations, uh, adult only or family. Uh, when we uh, go to the uh, Caribbean area and stay at a resort, we always build in a, a formal visit to three or four uh, other resorts in the area just to look at them in terms of uh, specifically of, of how suitable they are for destination weddings, but uh, also how suitable they are for an adult only vacation or a family vacation as well. Um, we also do extended Florida vac uh, vacation trips. Uh, we focus on theme park vacations like Universal Studios, uh, Disney, uh, SeaWorld, and uh, Busch Gardens. And we've been to all of those at uh, several times. So again, extended vacation, family vacation there, we can help you with that. Uh, river cruises, uh, our biggest specialty. Uh, we have done uh, 10 itineraries around the world, uh, including three in Asia, Vietnam, two itineraries, the Mekong with Cambodia, that's the temples of Angkor Wat, as well as the Red River in the north, which was a cultural cruise. Uh, we've also done a cruise tour on the Yangtze in China. Uh, we've done a, a similar uh, on the Nile in Egypt, one of our um, favorite trips to, to date, as well as the Rhine and the Danube, the Rhone in southern France, the uh, Po River uh, in Italy, and Portugal's Douro River in Europe, and finally the Mississippi on an old-fashioned paddle wheeler in the U.S. So um, lots of experience there, uh, personal experience, and, and have booked a lot of that, so we can certainly help you. Uh, ocean cruises, the most popular itineraries we've done are Hawaii, uh, which which can only really be done well, in my opinion, by Norwegian Cruise Line, who stays within the islands themselves. Um, the Mediterranean, the three Caribbean itineraries, East, West, and Southern Caribbean. Uh, we did a cruise around the UK, uh, which was wonderful. We also did a cruise from New Zealand to Australia, uh, which also was a very different experience. And on most people's bucket lists, we've also done Alaska and want to remind people that if Alaska is on your bucket list, uh, you might want to get that to the top of your bucket list because the glaciers are, are melting significantly now. Coach tours from local tours um, like a tour of uh, Newfoundland and Labrador uh, to coach tours around the world. We have relationships with a variety of touring companies to find the best options for you. Um, travel conditions. Well, here in Nova Scotia, uh, after a university celebration recently, um, uh, where there were a number of post-celebration celebrations, uh, we have, you know, a problem with probably Omicron now. Um, and, and that, folks, is a wake-up call for us that this um, COVID disease is going to be with us for a long time. But the, the positive side of that is that vaccinations are, are working very well and uh, are, are, anybody that uh, seems to catch uh, uh, COVID or a variant um, seems to suffer mild symptoms and, and that's a, a very positive thing. Um, US-Canada border, you know, subject to whatever new rules they might have come into place with Omicron, um, is is fairly well open you know the only concern we have of course as travel agents and you as travelers is that we still have the rule that you need to test negative before you step back on the plane to get back to canada if you test positive then you will likely have to um, uh, self-isolate at destination and at, at your own expense uh, i know that when i am looking at uh, resorts in the caribbean for my clients one of the things that i uh, research for them is what is the resort's uh, uh, isolation policy and, and 
what is it what is the cost of that so it's important to know that uh, up front the other good thing about that situation is that the major uh, insurance companies are um, are actually giving us some uh, coverage for the isolation um, at destination and uh, certainly that's a very positive thing in my opinion because uh, you know if insurance companies will cover you uh, that shows that they have confidence that uh, that the situation is not as bad perhaps as it as it might appear um, if, if there were any dangers you can be sure insurance com companies would not cover you so um, that's that's positive and I, I think we have to kind of keep that in our minds too um, my connection with CARP is through uh, Bill Van Gorder, who is the COO and Chief Policy Officer for CARP National, as well as the founding chair for CARP Nova Scotia. Uh, Bill and I have a close relationship going on for probably seven years now, where I worked on a charitable foundation that he and a, and a friend of his uh, developed. We raised uh, close to $400,000 for charitable institutions with no overhead cost at all went to the charity. And as serving on that board, I got a chance to know Bill quite well. In fact, booked a couple of uh, high-end trips for him. And as a result of the service he received, he asked if we would be interested in being the official travel agency for CARP Nova Scotia. And of course, we, we said yes. Uh, tonight, I'd, I'd like to introduce uh, Juliana Schmidt of uh, Crystal River Cruises, uh, who's the business development manager for Canada, who will be telling us about this amazing five and a half star river cruise company presently sailing on the Amsterdam to Budapest route and variations of the same. Juliana lives in northern BC, Fort St. John, and when we arranged the chat, and in fact tonight, the temperature uh, in Fort St. John was minus 20. Um, shades of things to come for us in the Maritimes. Juliana, could you take over, please? Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much for inviting me to present today. I feel honored. I'm Juliana Schmidt. I am not Canadian. I'm Canadian at heart. I'm Brazilian. I fell in love with a Canadian guy, and he tricked me to come to Fort St. John, and that is where my home is. I've been with Crystal for the last seven years. And I'm very proud to uh, present about Crystal River Cruises to you today. So thank you for your time. And I hope you enjoy this uh, little trip down the Rhine, the Mine, the Danube and the Moselle River. So I'm just gonna put my video off so I can concentrate in presenting to you about Crystal. Crystal has been in the market for the last 30 plus years. It's a very well-known luxury company and what we do, we offer unique travel experiences. We truly believe uh, luxury is uh, personable. What is luxurious for you is different than what is luxury for me. So we really try to personalize for our clients. We, besides river cruising, we also do ocean cruising with our two vessels, the Crystal Symphony and Crystal Serenity. And we also have a brand new expedition yacht for only 200 guests doing remote expeditions. We are right now in Antarctica uh, on our inaugural season with the Crystal Endeavor. And that will be a topic for another uh, meeting for us uh, to get together and talk about the ocean and the expedition experience that Crystal has to offer. Today, we are going to talk about Crystal River Cruises. And we started a few years ago with uh, five ships. They are very different from the other uh, river cruises that are available in Europe today. So Crystal is known for its luxury and we brought to the rivers of Europe the true luxury. So our vessels are all suites, all balcony and all inclusive luxury. We have four vessels that were built by Crystal. Crystal um, has those uh, vessels called the Crystal Bar, the Crystal Debussy, Crystal Mahler and Crystal Ravel with a capacity for 106 guests. The size of those vessels is 135 uh, meters uh, long, and they are the same size as the other ships from the other river lines that operate in similar rivers. So when you compare the number of guests that we have, uh, we carry less guests, so we offer more space, what these days is very much so appreciated. We also have another vessel that is the Crystal Mozart that carries 154 guests. This vessel is known as the Queen of the Danube, is twice the size of uh, the other four vessels that we have. This is a vessel that already existed and it was bought by Crystal and completely refurbished. 
I was lucky enough to be on the inaugural cruise when Crystal took over the Crystal Mozart. And I saw uh, lots of uh, guides, local guides that have been taking guests from this vessel when it was owned by the other company, coming on board and just being, wow, it looks completely different. So we crystallized the Crystal Mozart to be up to the Crystal standard and offer the superb excellence that we offer on our ocean now available also on the river so the top 10 reasons to sail at crystal are we are all inclusive true inclusive so if you want to order a bottle of champagne not sparkling wine real champagne in your suite at three in the morning you can if you want to have you know a mimosa in the morning it's included so all drinks are included um all the gratuities including gratuities for the tour uh, guides and the drivers um, all the meals, we have a variety of options uh, for meals, so you are not strict to the times um, that we determine, like uh, 7 o'clock you need to go for dinner. No, we are very flexible and we let you enjoy your vacation the way you want at the time that you want. So our accommodations are suites with king size beds. <laughs> the beds are very comfortable. Doesn't matter which crystal ship you are, the beds are always king size and they are very, very comfortable. We have European butler service in every room category. So it doesn't matter which category you choose. They all consider suites and they all have butler service. So if you are traveling on your own and you want a smaller suite, or if you're traveling with friends and you want a larger suite, with a shared uh, living room where you can entertain in the evening and have a cocktail with your friends. We share, uh, we also have um, suites with two rooms. We also have the largest suites on Europe's rivers because we carry less guests, although the ships are the same size as the other companies, we are able to offer larger rooms because we have less guests on board. And we are also able to offer more crew, no? because we have more space to accommodate the crew. So when we say that we have butler service, we actually have butlers on the ship working full time as butlers. They are not working uh, part of the time as waiters and part of the time as butlers, no. The people that work in the spa, they are actually just working in the spa. They are not doing part time at the front desk. It seems funny, but it does happen in other uh, river line. So I'm just giving you examples of things that make Crystal really different from the other lines. So twice the number of crew per guest in the industry average, and you are not able to offer a no five and a half, six star service if you don't have enough crew to serve our clients. The most spacious ships carrying 45% fewer guests, Michelin inspired cuisine, fresh lobster, Dover so prepared a la minute plus caviar, so everything that we serve on the ship is uh, farm to table. It's sourced from the local farms, from the areas where we are cruising. The only two things that are not local um, is the lobster that flies alive. Sorry, they do fly alive either from Canada or the US. They fly overnight and then they are served the next day uh, on the ship. So it's very fresh. And also uh, the oysters that come from France and once a cruise, we also um, serve fresh oysters. Everything else is locally sourced. When you go for dinner, it's really like you are on a local restaurant, on a Michelin-inspired restaurant. The quality of the food, the service, the details. If you look at this little picture here, you see we have a lot of tables that are for two guests. Or we have tables for more people, or we can put tables together. So if you're traveling with a group, or if you meet people and you want to dine with them, or if you want to dine alone, you have the option of dining just with your partner or with your travel companion. This is very important because a lot of the other lines on the river, you um, set a, a, a time, let's say seven o'clock, you need to be there for dinner. It's a buffet style and then you're going to share your table with people you don't know. People don't like that. You want to have the freedom. So our restaurant is open. It's open city. You can choose the time you want to come. You don't need to tell us in advance. You just come in and you have dinner. And we also have a second restaurant um, that is our bistro, that is like the coffee shop. And then in the evening, we also have a special menu for dinner. So you can either go to the main dining room or we have a second option for dining as well, plus um, in, in suite dining. So we do have complimentary room service as well. So what we just talked about, flexible open seating dining, in multiple restaurants plus 24 hours room service. And then within choice of short excursions options in very every port. And we'll talk about it 
in a little bit further. We have private luxury motor coaches with free Wi-Fi, something that sometimes we don't realize. Some of those small towns that the river ships go, they are very small. And then when it's you no know, high season in Europe, you may not have enough buses or um, minivans to accommodate all those ships coming in and all these tourists. So we decided to have our own tour buses so we can assure that you're going to have a quality way of transportation as well. So those buses have more space between each one of the, the, the seats. You have Wi-Fi, you have a coffee uh, machine, um, you know that our drivers work for us, so they are fully vaccinated, they are tested often, so we also have a control of the people that are working for us. So the buses are really, really cool buses. Um, I love traveling by bus, so I'm, I'm a big fan of the crystal buses when we go on a river cruise. We also have the youngest fleet in the river cruise industry. We started building those four vessels in 2016. That's when we finished with the renovation of the Crystal Mozart as well. So those are the ten, top 10 reasons. And just so you, so we can compare apples to apples. This is the um, relation of our staff to guest ration. So we have two crew members for every three guests. When some of the other lines have up to two crew members only for seven guests. So the quality of the service, of course, will be different. The more people you need to serve, the less time you have to uh, dedicate yourself to your clients. So that's why it's so important to dif differentiate Crystal from the other uh, river lines in the market. So we do consider ourselves the only luxury river line uh, currently in Europe doing river cruising. So a little bit of a tour. Uh, on our, we call them the Rhine class uh, ships. So those are the four vessels that carry 106 guests. And what you're going to find is a panoramic balcony window. So your whole suite is actually your uh, balcony. When you see here this uh, part that is a button that you can press, and then the top part of the window goes down, so you have fresh air and you can enjoy the view uh, from the comfort of your room. We do encourage the guests to go to the deck because sometimes when we are sailing, you have amazing views on both sides. So if you just stay in your room, you're gonna be very limited to what you are actually seeing. So you see that the layout and the design of the rooms are very modern, very pretty and very comfortable. Um, this is one of the suites that have a living area. So you get actually two balconies. Now you have the panoramic window uh, in your uh, living room and also in your um, in your bedroom. And then uh, the suites, the top penthouses have double vanity. They are all with walk-in showers. And then on the leading uh, suites, you're gonna find one, um, this is a um, one of the, um, social area. So this is one of our bars. So you see that it's a um, space in between the, the chairs and the tables, and we have live entertainment, at least once a cruise will bring in uh, folkloric entertainment. And otherwise we have a piano with a piano player that stays on the ship for the whole time. But one thing that is very important, when we plan our itineraries, we are very careful to add longer stays. So many times you're gonna be in port during the night, so if you want to go ashore after your dinner, you can go for a stroll. You can see some live entertainment ashore, or you can go out for a drink. So you can leave. It's like you are in a boutique hotel, and we are just sailing from one town to the other. So just think like the crystal ship as your floating hotel, because you will be able to stop in the middle, in the heart of each one of the towns, and you can easily go ashore and explore, even if you want to go ashore. Uh, in the evening. So it's very different from the experience on the ocean. When you have the entertainment on board, you are able to go ashore if you want. All the drinks are included and it's a very premium uh, variety, a good quality variety of options. Our main dining room, just a larger picture so you can see how uh, the tables are. So we have tables for four, for two, for six, or even more. This is our vintage room. If you are a love, uh, wine lover, I highly recommend you to try the vintage room experience. It's a wine pairing uh, dinner that we offer in a few nights per cruise, and we are able to accommodate just up to 10 guests. And we serve eight dishes 
and very special bottles of wine. So for each one of the eight wines that you're gonna try, those bottles can cost you know up to two, three hundred euros per bottle. So it's a very special dinner. You have the sommelier presenting each one of the wines and what they, um, the chef and the sommelier have decided to pair with the wine. So first we choose the wine and then we choose the menu for this experience. We also have two indoor um, pools. We have a jacuzzi and a pool. We have a spa, so you can do a massage or a facial. We have the top deck where you're gonna spend some of the time. We are also careful when we plan the itineraries to do sailing times during the day. Part of the experience of uh, cruising on the rivers is to actually see the river and how the city is involved from uh, from the rivers. So the, the sailings are very pretty and it would be a shame to arrive in Budapest at night. So when you see that we stay for a day and a half or we arrive at two in the afternoon, that is a reason for that is because that part of the sailing is special and we want you to be able to experience that as well. So this is the lounge. The first time I went on a river cruise, I was very impressed how boring some of the decks of other river lines were. They, it's like they just forgot to put some flowers and some colors and make it look pretty. So um, the river, uh, the deck on the river, the cruiser river ships are very pretty and accommodating. So you have different lounge areas where you can relax and enjoy and, and see the beauties of those rivers. So this is an example of our spa treatment rooms and where we go. We um, have included the short excursions on our uh, package. So when you see the prices for the cruises, they are very inclusive and we separate in options. So you're gonna have three to five to six options of tours included per day. And those tours are different types of tours. So if you are more active, if you are more into history, if you want that personal connection that you are going into um, somebody's small business where they produce olive oil or if they are a small wine producer. Um, I have had an experience a few weeks ago that one of my uh, dear travel agents went on a river cruise and we had some deviation because sometimes it happens that the river is too dry or there is too much water in the river. So we had to skip a port and go to a different city. And this lady told me like that tour that we went, it was not expected because it was on the, the new city that we were going. But the tour was the highlight of the cruise for me because we went to a person that makes his own wine and it's a very small producer. And it was the owner, he brought us to his house. He, he was just so personable, it was just so special to live like we were visiting a family member. So sometimes it's just that little details that makes the experience unique because I'm sure you have all very well traveled and you have been maybe to all those big museums or maybe it's the first time that you are going to that destination. So we try to cover all the options. We will have tours that will take you to the major highlights, the castles, the museums and the cathedrals and so on. We're gonna do a panoramic uh, sightseeing uh, but we also gonna have options to unique places that nobody ever heard about it, but that is a reason why we are taking you there. So we have tours that are focused on gastronomy and wine tasting and food tasting. We have the cultural discoveries. We have the adventures on the bike or the hikes for those that are more active. And we also have the design your own uh, time concierge service. So if you just wanna do it privately, you do not wanna take advantage of the tours that are included. You wanna go visit a family member, I don't know, go to a historical site. Uh, we can also do private arrangements at an extra cost, but the options that we offer that are included are unbelievable and really cover all tastes. Uh, even if you're traveling, let's say with your wife, you are interested in history and your wife just wants to go shopping, you can be in the same bus, you can be doing the same tour, but one guide is gonna focus on history and more content and the other one is gonna give more uh, free time for shopping and strolling and having a coffee. So we are very conscious about asking our clients what they want to do. So it's pretty much like you are on a private tour with few other fellow guests traveling with you. So here is a map of the areas that we cover uh, in Europe with our five uh, river vessels. So we do the Rhine, the Moselle, the Main and the Danube River. 
One uh, river that I always like to highlight, and a lot of people don't know about it, is the Moselle River that has a lot of winding roads, not a road, not because it's a river. But every time you do a turn on this river, that is a castle or a fortress. It's a very pretty sailing and they produce a lot of good wine. So if you have done some of these rivers and you're looking for something different, I would highly recommend you the Moselle. If it's your first river cruise and you want to do, you know, uh, one that is the first one you should do. Maybe you want to try the Danube River. But of course, the Rhine and the Main are for sure our top sellers. That's why we have more options of cruises um, going through this area. And I'm going to share with you some of examples of um, cruises that you can take. So the beautiful Danube and then the Rhine, just some pictures to make you think about cruising. And we, we restarted sailing again in August this year. And we're gonna finish our season now in the end of December. Uh, we do the Christmas markets no end of November and December every year. So if you wanna start planning for next year to do something different at this time of the year, that's a great place to go shopping and enjoy Europe um, during the Christmas markets. And we are going to restart again uh, in March, 2022. We have a little break because during the winter, we can't operate the river ships. But we have those itineraries, there are 60 nights, they are called the Grand Europe, and we are going to be doing them on May 21st and June 6th. They can go either from Budapest to Amsterdam or the reverse, so just so you have an idea of what we do here. Uh, if you need more information and more details, you can definitely contact Almond Travel with uh, full details of the tours that we offer in each one of these ports. Um, also, um, more details about pre and post cruises and what to do in each one of these destinations. But you will see here that, for example, we are sailing at noon and then we are getting to this, the next uh, destination at three o'clock. Then we sail again at seven or we are having an overnight when it's a major city. So you have all these options. If you can do 60 nights, you can definitely pick one of the seven nights cruises that we operate from March until December. And I'm um, sorry, I forgot to mention about the prices. So the starting prices for the 60 nights is 15,250 Canadian dollars. Oh, what have, let's go back to the presentation. There you go, sorry for that. And then we have uh, the seven nights that starting prices are 4,580 Canadian dollars per person before taxes. What is included on these prices? Um, your accommodation, the gratuities, all the drinks, the Wi-Fi is also included, the gratuities uh, on board and shoreside during your tours and the transfers uh, to the ship. So what we have been doing because of the pandemic, we require our clients to be tested. So we do an antigen test before boarding the ship. So instead of going straight to the ship, we're going to give you a name of a hotel and a set time that you need to make an appointment and you meet us at that hotel that is where the check-in happens. And once you have been tested and you have received a negative result, then we transfer you to the ship. On the way back, we include the transfer from the ship to the airport. Or if you have a pre or post package, we offer them the transfers for that. And then uh, just some examples of pre and post package that we offer. We can accommodate you in a local hotel for two or three nights or we can even offer you a full package, including tours as well. So it depends on the itinerary that you pick. We can always give you the details of the options we have for that specific sailing. A little bit more uh, of what we have to offer. Remember I mentioned to you about the Crystal Mozart, that it's our special vessel that is larger and only stays on the Danube River because it's too large to go into the other rivers. So those vessels, they have this vessel has a capacity for 154 guests, and we have ocean view rooms, not ocean, river view rooms. They have panoramic windows, and this is a specific category that doesn't have a balcony. And on this particular vessel, what we do is we have a French balcony style because it's a different layout of a, of a vessel. So it's the traditional French balcony. Uh, on those vessels, there are accommodations that have a panoramic window. It's not under the water level, okay? It's a true panoramic window. We offer a special single supplement uh, on all the voyages in 2022. 
So if you are a solo traveler, or if there is somebody that you would like to travel with you, but they want to have their own room, their own privacy, I highly recommend you to have a look at those cruises on board the beautiful Crystal Mozart. If they are round trip Vienna, they are seven days. We operated from March until December, and the prices are starting at 4,385 Canadian dollars per person before taxes in double or single occupancy. So that's a very special opportunity for those people that travel on their own or just need their own accommodations. A little bit about the protocols. Um, we restarted operating in July with our ocean vessels and in August with the river vessels. And I have had a lot of colleagues and clients that have sailed and the feedback has been amazing. Just this morning, I had four phone calls, you no know, following up with clients that were on the ship and they were very pleased. Some of them were a little bit hesitant before the cruise because they didn't know how it was going to be uh, to be cruising on the, you know, with uh, all the new procedures and protocols. So we are very careful what, what we have been doing. So besides being tested before boarding, um, all the, the guests need to be fully vaccinated for at least 14 days. All our crew is also vaccinated and all the crew uh, requ is required to wear a mask. We also have this uh, tracking device, device. So in the remote possibility of somebody testing positive, uh, we are able to do a contact tracing on the ship. So we have the fresh air ventilation ship, uh, system. So all um, the rooms have you no know, access to fresh air. We uh, always sanitizing, we enforce um, social distancing, we do temperature control. So every time you come into the restaurant, we're gonna do a temperature check. That is, no, we don't even need to touch you. It's just like that little uh, thermometer that we are all used to these days. So we can have some control of uh, how our guests are doing. And of course, if anybody has any symptoms, we are able to do testing. And um, before you disembark, because Canadians are required to do uh, tests, you know, PCR tests before uh, coming back to Canada. So what we do on the river ships, because the ships are so small, we are not able to do the PCR test on board, but through the concierge, we are able to get in contact with a local lab and we help you to get that test done before you fly back home. So there are lots of details that we can share. What we have done, we have created a vacation guide that has a lot of information about all the details and all that you need to know uh, about your cruise, not only about the destination, but also about the new protocols. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Daniel. He is definitely an expert about uh, cruising and an expert about crystal. And I'm just thrilled to have the opportunity to talk to you today. And we have some special offers for you as well that Daniel will be sharing with you um, by email after this presentation. So I hope to see you on board one of our Crystal River vessels very soon. And if you have any questions, please feel free to type them at the um, chat. Um, and then if I don't answer today, I will be getting back to you through Daniel as well. Thank you. Daniel, please. Thank you very much, Joanna, for a great presentation on Crystal Cruises and what the cruise line has to offer our viewers. Folks, this is what true luxury looks like. Um, Juliana, I have a couple of qu uh, comments on your presentation. Uh, just uh, made note of them as you were doing them. Um, and, and comments, sometimes comparisons with other cruise lines based on my experience. 106 guests, 53 cabins, uh, most of the other uh, cruise companies around 175 to 200. Um, so considerably more people. Uh, you have the same space, but almost half the, uh, the actual number of bodies on board. So that has to translate into a, a nicer experience. Um, the uh, all tips included for everything. Uh, some of the other companies, some of the other companies offer tips included, but they're not usually for the buses and, and the uh, tour guides. So uh, that's, a, that's a nice addition as well. Um, flexibility of meal times. This has been a sore point for me for, for a long time. Uh, and this is ocean cruising as well. Uh, set times, you know, seven o'clock to be there. You're sitting there um, enjoying a fine meal, of course, uh, you know, till about 8.30 or nine o'clock. But there have been times when I wanted to have a fairly quick, nice meal 
and get out because onto the deck because there were some you know beautiful um, scenery coming up. So the idea of being able to go down whatever time you want and uh, you know have your meal and I would imagine uh, indicate if you were in a little bit of a hurry. Uh, hate to say that word if you're fine dining, but it may be the case. Um, very few cruise companies offer that. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Um, larger suites, the uh, bathroom, for example, I remember our first cruise, uh, we had a shower, won't mention the name of the cruise line, but I, every time I moved, I was banging an elbow into uh, the wall or the glass. So it's nice to see that there's uh, tons of room there as well. Um, just from the pictures you've shown, again, we've experienced the dining on, on 10 different river cruises. Um, what you have described there is not the norm um, and, and sets uh, Crystal apart as a luxury cruise line. No, no question about that. So yes, folks, you're paying more for it, but look what else you're getting for it. Um, the idea of a uh, table for two, uh, again, uh, you know, all of the cruise lines we've been on had some options for, for table for two, but most of them were four, six, eight, ten, and, and that sort of thing. So there were very few options for you actually to have a, you know, a quiet moment with your significant other. Um, so I see lots of opportunities there and I, I appreciate that. Uh, to have a second option for dining, you know, uh, again, with, with one exception, actually two exceptions, uh, most cruise lines offer you one option and that is in the main dining area and you go down there and you experience a, a lovely meal but it's nice to know that there is another option for you if you choose not to to take the, the main dining. Own motor coaches, there's only one other company that I'm aware of in the United States that offers its own motor coaches and I love the idea of the motor coaches following along um, parallel to the, uh, the cruise ship and meeting up um, you know, with the cruise ship when it arrives in the, in the next city. So you know exactly the quality you're getting because it's the same bus every time. And uh, from the sounds of things, uh, high quality. Um, the bed faces the window with panoramic windows. I know not all of them do, but certainly if you choose a cabin that has that, that uh, would be a delightful way to, to wake up in the morning and have a coffee made in your in your room and uh, cabin, I should say, and enjoy the, the scenery floating, floating by. And the panoramic windows seems to be uh, gaining popularity uh, amongst many uh, river cruise companies and, and certainly is a, a fine aspect of uh, Crystal. Uh, the private option for excursions, uh, it's, it's extra costs for sure, but if you visit a, a particular town or city um, that has something that you really want to see specifically, maybe something to do with history of your family or just something that you want to see that perhaps is not being offered on the uh, offered excursions. Um, that sounds like a wonderful way of being able to get something tailor-made. It's extra cost and, uh, you know, it certainly uh, is, is done sort of one at a time on a one-off basis with individuals, but, but sounds like a wonderful option. Um, Pre and post cruise hotels. I always suggest that people get in at least one day early and perhaps a couple of days early or choose to stay a day or two um, when they depart the ship uh, and enjoy the city that they either arrive in or depart from uh, for an extra day or two. Certainly well worth exploring that. Uh, zero sing single supplement on, on some cruises, that's uh, marvelous. I mean, most cruise companies, ocean and river, if you're traveling by yourself, it's a 200% um, cost. So to, to, to realize that there are certain sailings and certain ships that have no single supplement for one person in the cabin is, again, an incredible deal. So um, anyway, uh, cruising on the river during the daytime, that is what hooked us on river cruising back well, quite a while ago now, uh, was the ability to be able to sit up on the deck and just enjoy what is uh, what is passing you. And of course, when you're on the deck, as you mentioned, Juliana, uh, you can see both sides. So if there happens to be a castle on one side, uh, and then, you know, 15 minutes later, there's a castle on the other side, being up on the deck is the place to, to be to see them both. If you're in your room, you'll see one, and that's wonderful, but you won't see them all. And when you talk about castles, the Rhine and the Moselle, that's where you want to be on the top of the deck as you're passing through those gorges and um, and uh, uh, enjoying the scenery there. So that's pretty well all I have to say on that. Uh, 
I, I am very happy with the presentation. You're very knowledgeable, Juliana, um, and it was very enjoyable to listen to you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Daniel. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Okay. To close this presentation, I want to remind viewers that this is the last presentation till the new year. On January the 11th, uh, 6.30 uh, p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, Anderson Vacations will co-host a presentation on touring Alaska and the Yukon, and also look at a trip to the Cook Islands down in the South Pacific, and also perhaps a tour in New Zealand, although New Zealand is one of the countries that um, is, has been in lockdown for a long time. They've taken this COVID situation very, very seriously, and we don't know when they're going to open up again. So, uh, but, you know, um, a good chance to look at what might potentially be available within the next year or so. So thanks again, Juliana, for your presentation this evening on Crystal River Cruises. I'm very much looking forward to an opportunity to co-host a presentation on the expedition and ocean cruising as well. We will do that soon. Thank you again.